Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about this update on the delivery date. I don't know exactly when this happened. I think it happened a little while ago, but I just happened to notice it a few days ago that when I logged into my Aptera account on their website, the estimated delivery date has changed again. It used to say uh, 2023 to 2024, but now it says between late 2023 and 2024. Um, and I think, you know, that that makes sense. I think we're at least a year away from uh, production if all goes perfectly well. Um, they've been saying for a long time that it'll be nine months from the time that they get their uh, funding and they need a minimum of $50 million. So unless they have the $50 million lined up right now, um, we're not getting it until late 2023. And I think late 2023 is actually a little optimistic. I actually think they should just be, uh, just say, estimate delivery rate sometime in 2024, because I think late 2023 is uh, still somewhat optimistic. The other thing that is interesting is um, that they've been saying, uh, Chris Anthony has been saying in several interviews, there was an interview with uh, Conversations with Joe and at the Ambassador webinar and several, several other um, uh, interviews where he's saying that they want to uh, start with production at 40 vehicles a day because starting at one or two a day and then trying to ramp up to 40 a day is very difficult because people get used to tooling and the process for just a few a day. And then when you ask them to like quadruple or go up by an order of magnitude, it's extremely hard. So I guess that's something that Sandy Monroe has been pushing on them is to just gear up and be ready for 40 a day. And when I looked at the production ramps of other vehicles, that seems somewhat unrealistic. Um, if this is Tesla's Model 3 production ramp, and you can tell there's a fairly linear ramp that went that went over the course of like two quarters. Um, it took them about six months to kind of ramp production. And it wasn't like, you know, they start here and they just ramp immediately to full production within like a few months and then go like this. Um, or like within a few weeks, which seems like that's what they're planning on doing with Aptera. And, and if you look at Rivian's production ramp, looks fairly linear as well. And then Lucid's production ramp is the same. And you guys might be saying, well, you know, Aptera is a much uh, easier to assemble vehicle. They're going to have sub assemblies and just uh, kind of bolt them together at the final assembly plant. And that is true. There, sh there should be a lot of... Um, uh, it should be a lot easier to build than Lucid's or Rivian's or Tesla's. But if you look at Electromechanica Solo's um, production ramp, theirs is fairly linear as well and much slower because their their uh, their capitalization is much less, so they didn't have as much funding. I mean, you know, as you know, Lucid, Rivian, and Tesla all had billions of dollars. Um, you know, Rivian raised um, I think about ten billion dollars, and Lucid raised about four billion dollars before they made it to production. So they had lots of money to make it into production, and and still, this is the kind of ramp that they're get production ramp that they're going. If you have less production, then you know you're gonna have very slow production ramps like this Electromechanica Solo, which is about as simple to make as the Aptera. And an interesting thing was I found this article when I was like uh, researching this thing, where Elon Musk says don't buy uh, Teslas during the production ramp because they were having a lot of quality control issues. Um, and people would say that Tesla's quality control and fit and finish has never been great. Uh, but during the production ramp, they've had lots of paint issues and fit and finish issues where the panels weren't fitting together well. Now, Aptera may be able to um, avoid a lot of those because number one, they're not painting their vehicles, they're wrapping them. And then number two, they are using these uh, forged carbon uh, body and carbon so there's very little flex and thermal expansion so the fit should be uh, much easier to get so I think the fit and finish of the body is going to be really really good on the Aptera so there's probably a little bit less um, concern about the fit and finish during the production ramp but I do think based on you know the production ramps of every other vehicle company that we've gone through that a production ramp quickly to 40 a day is is optimistic um, at best um, so I, I wish them luck on that but I, I think that it's not going to be as fast as they think like you know you see that the production ramp for uh, Rivian has taken over a year before they're kind of uh, plateaued 
and Lucid is probably in the same boat. Tesla ramped, um, and you know, and Tesla is wasn't a old, wasn't a new car company. You know, they've been building Model Xs and Model Ss, so they weren't new to the game. And it still took them about six months to reach their production ramp. So I expect that Aptera is going to take. Um, at best six months to reach their production ramp. So I think ramping to 40 a day immediately right off the bat is fairly unrealistic. So I think, you know, the, I'm hoping that they have some large whale investors lined up and they're kind of in the late stages of their talk. They seem very confident when, um, in their interview. So I kind of think that they, they do, or they are in talks with some big investors. So they feel like the $50 million is just very, very close. Um, if that's the case and that finalizes sometime early next year, um, then we could get a, a trickle of production towards the late 2023. And if you're one of the early Paradigm Edition people, you might get in 2023. But I think production ramp isn't happening until late 2024 at the earliest. So if you're, um, you know, if you didn't, uh, if you're not near California and you're not uh, one of the very, very early reservation holders, you're probably looking at late 2024, honestly before you even have a prayer of getting it. Um, and that's provided that they get this funding. And I think that is the biggest issue right now is um, getting the funding. The engineering seems like it's uh, you know going pretty well. The design looks great. And you know the, the interest in the vehicle is high and lots of, uh, there's lots of fans like us that are very, very interested in getting the vehicle and um, driving it around. So it's not a, a demand problem. It is a funding problem, and they and they basically they just need to find um, uh, one inspired billionaire in uh, Chris Anthony's words, and which is why I think they really should visit the idea of taking it to um, to Park City and to uh, the Super Bowl in Arizona in January to try to just drive it around, get exposure. You know, I think if they just drive the thing around for a few days, people are going to notice it. And um, someone, you know, it, someone's going to notice it and they're going to ask about it. And maybe, maybe one of them will be interested. Okay. Well, tell me what you guys think about the production ramp. Do, how quickly do you think the production ramp is going to happen? Is it going to happen in a few months, uh, like one or two months, like they, like they're saying, or do you think it's going to take a year? Or six months. Um, my guess is about that it should take a year if it was a normal car, but I think it is going to be much easier than a regular car to build. So I'm saying six months for production ramp. All right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to our supporting members. Have a great day, everyone.